All right, guys, how y'all doing? I'm Paula with May Mays, and I'm about to show y'all how to clean some chitlins, okay? Now, chitlins usually come in these bags that says they're already cleaned. No, they're not already clean. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in these pans so I can sort out all the gook and the gunk because we all know what chitlins are. Okay, this is something that I grew up on. A lot of people call it slave food and all this stuff. No, it's, a, it's all about your frame of mind. And that's not my frame of mind. I, I'm out of that frame of mind a long time ago. Okay, I eat it because I choose to. Alright, it brings me back to my roots. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour these. What I did was you brown them and they're frozen. They're frozen solid, okay? And I let them sit out so they could defrost, so I could work with them. Because when it's that hard block, you can't do too much with them, okay? So what I did was, I have this pan and I poked some holes in it. So some of the excess can fall out of it. But the first thing I do before I even try to clean them, is I'm going to soak them in some vinegar for about 15 to 30 minutes, okay? Because they do have an awful smell, all right? Now with these, you're not going to get all of the smell off of them, but you're going to get 85% of it off. Well, when I do it. Now, to be honest with you, I have smelled chitlins when other folks have cooked them and if they are too loud in the smell I'm not going to eat them because that means they won't, weren't cleaned properly if they are too loud with the smell you're going to know that they're chitlins because they're cooking but if that smell is overpowering and overwhelming and it hits you when you walk in their door don't eat them do not eat them because they were not properly cleaned See how some of them still has the ice on them? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pour some of this excess off of here. Okay? Alright? And they're loosening up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few more holes in that pan so we can have some of this excess go out. Put them both on the sides and that's where the water is going to go. Now this is just my version guys. Okay? So what I have here is some distilled vinegar. Distilled vinegar. Now, if you're from the old school, you know a lot of times women use this to cleanse their bodies. And it worked. So my thing is, if it can cleanse a woman's body, it can cleanse a chitlin. Okay? That's putting it nicely. I wanted to say something else. But I'm not going to go there. Okay? And then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to start rinsing them off. Rinsing them off while I let them soak. And I have two bottles of this vinegar. And like they were saying, these in the bag are clean. No way, Jose. Look at all that. See all that? You have to check each piece one at a time, and you have to get that out of there. Then the ones that you can open up, you let the water run through. Okay? You let the water run through.